the ai chip race is on and at the heart of it is snapdragon from smartphones to smart cars pcs to xr qualcomm's flagship platform is everywhere we got up with alex katuzian group gm of mobile compute and xr at qualcomm to talk ai performance power efficiency breakthrough moments from a decade of snapdragon summit and what's next as ai gets more personal powerful and pervasive let's find out all through the summit one uh, phrase that i heard very often was uh, ai is the new ui, UI. Yeah, yes yeah. so how is uh, snapdragon redefining the ai experience on the premium tier devices yeah. in the so, coming days so um what we do is work with a lot of partners that can understand the consumer way of using things and they also bring a lot of capabilities on our mm. hardware to life and so so for example today people launch apps sure right they want to go search for something they go through the browser they want to uh you know uh, uh book an airline ticket they launch you know the app for the airline uh you want to go reserve a restaurant you go and you browse you find the restaurant thing you go to the website so instead of doing that or typing something uh, people should start to get used to talking to their phone yes right and and asking for things mm. and once that user behavior starts to change then the assistant starts to take over and when the assistant starts to take over then it becomes your user interface and the more personal data you feed it mm -hmm. staying on device and you giving it permission and you giving credentials and things like that it'll start doing more and more things for you sure it'll understand and anticipate the context the context your yeah. schedule your texts your yeah. emails um your location because hmm. the phone has a location and it all stays private within the phone and if it can't answer or do something for you there hmm. then it'll go to the cloud but you've given it permission to go sure. to the cloud or it actually locates a, a very secure section of the cloud in memory for you that's right so it can go back and forth yes but this is a promise uh, that has been given by almost all uh, chip makers almost all uh, tech giants so uh, as the ai race is heating up what according to you alex gives snapdragon and qualcomm the edge in this, yeah in this game so so a couple of things one is uh we've been working ai for the past 15 years yeah it's nothing new to us <laughs> so we've been implementing a bunch of ai capabilities not only on device but we're yeah. working with ecosystem partners to say okay how do we enhance all of these things so now all of a sudden ai became the foreground it was always in the background sure you didn't even know yeah but now it's in the foreground because ah it's the it's generating something or it's assisting me with something or it understands what i'm looking at but then so so we've been implementing this for a while and then the technologies that we use to accelerate optimize and make the battery last a much longer period of time have been honed in yeah. over the years and, and then and then uh i think last but not least um you know when you when you take a look at the user experiences around that we've already implemented it over the years and people not even realizing so i think that is the edge that we have over others because we've been working it for so long yeah if, you know we had the foresight to say okay ai is going to become something important and as the partnerships like for example with google and microsoft and others are, are becoming much much tighter they also see user experience sure they feed back to us and we feed back to them and it's a back and forth that way that allows so setting a feedback loop with of your course, partners yeah. as well yeah. and since you uh, you know took us back to uh, snapdragon's journey and how you've been working on ai for the last 15 years it's 10 years of snapdragon summit uh 18 years of uh, snapdragon as a brand correct me if i'm wrong yeah i think we started back in 2006 or 2007 yeah and you are a veteran uh, yeah, at the company yeah. yourself so how do you uh, look back at the journey and what has been snapdragon's redefining breakthrough yeah so many 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 different moments but if i if i if you recall when uh, feature phones were very popular and those were the only way of communicating and then then we started seeing um keyboards and you had a little bit of a larger screen and you could read emails and then then that transition went to a high level operating system and and some, something like android started to take over and apps started to come in sure 
So every transition we've actually been leading. Um, and the reason why is we brought a very disruptive solution to the market to begin with. Um, and we made it horizontal. We made it available to everybody. And then when, when a high level operating system came in, we were the first one to have a solution there. And it was creative because way in the beginning, there was like one CPU and one DSP, and it was shared between whatever apps that were there, like multimedia yeah. and modem. Then we came up with something like, okay, how about if we split? To have two CPUs. Oh, one can concentrate on apps, one can right. concentrate on modem. Then all of a sudden, you know, the the uh, the parallelism became very high, and all of a sudden, HLOS has started to come around. Then we went and said, okay, what if we make a special CPU that's our own architecture and our own design? And all of a sudden, we hit a speed that no one else could hit, and then the system sped up. We developed our own graphics capabilities, and games started to come into us. And then a few years later, we started developing our own AI capabilities and all these things that happen that you don't even know, but your photos look better and your videos look better and your audio sounds better. All of those things we were doing in the background. So we've been building this advantage sure. over so many years. So now when AI is here, we're already a leader in it. Yeah. When games came around, we were a leader in it. When uh, fast CPUs came around, we were a leader in it. Mm. When HLOS came around, we were a leader. And now the transition is now moving towards AI becoming your new UI. Yes. And we're leading that too. Thank you so much, yeah. Alex. Thanks for joining it's us today. It's always a pleasure talking to you. And sharing your insights you with much. us. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.